When you're trying to gain access to a CD-ROM or a floppy or a hard disk or a directory on a remote system, whatever the case is, you need to mount it. It's not the same as it is in Windows. You know, Windows has drive letters, D, E, F, G, and so on. Although Windows does support files, mounting of uh, file systems inside directories as well, but this is not a Windows course. We're talking about Linux. So in Linux, I'm going to show you how you can mount an NFS volume doing it kind of like the manual way. And I'm going to show you how it's done utilizing what is called AutoFS or Auto Mounter. So let's do this. I'm going to open up my Linux box and I'm going to, in this particular instance, I'm going to make sure that my NFS is running. No, it stopped. So I'm going to check to see what my exports directory says. I have it right here. It's called shared docs. Shared docs. Okay, so I have a shared docs directory that I'm going to be uh, making available. I'm going to turn off IP tables. All right. And I'm going to do service NFS start. There we go. And this particular machine's address is 130, I think. Here it is. 192.168.171.130. So I'm going to go over to this machine, and here's what I can do. I can do make dir NFS data. That can be. This is going to be my mount point. This is where I were, this is where I'm going to mount that shared directory on the root box. I'm going to do mount 192.168.171.130. And I'm going to mount shared docs to NFS data. There we go. Now, if I do the mount command, here is my mounted directory on NFS data, and it is an NFS data type. Okay? And here's where it's mounted from. And it's read-write, as you can see. Okay? So, and I'm going to do a U-mount to get rid of it. U mount NFS, oops, NFS data. There we go. Type mount, and now it's gone. That entry doesn't exist anymore over here. Okay? So I just mounted it and unmounted it, doing it manually. Now, what I can do also is I can go over to ETC and I can type nano auto.master. And it says right here, that there is a auto um, auto mounter map file, and the auto mounter map file is the one that the auto mounter uses to map the the, the volumes that you want to um, that you want to mount. Okay, so here is what I can do. Uh, and this one right here says that um, I've got um, in the miscellaneous. I'm going to miscellaneous directory. There's an auto.misc over here that's going to be um, mounted. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to do nano auto.misc. Let's give me an example right here. And here's what I'm going to do right over here. I'm going to say that uh, I'm going to call, uh, I'm going to create a mount point actually in here. Hold on. In the misc directory, I'm going to do make dir my NFS in caps like that. Ah. Um, I'm going to do um, make dir misc my NFS. Ah, I'm not sitting here. I'm going to check something here. I'm going to go to the etc directory. I'm going to do auto.master. And I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to do this. I'm going to say that um, I'm going to say that inside of my auto.misc, I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to call this thing my NFS. And I'm going to say that I'm going to mount it as read-write, init r, r, 
size is going to be read size. My write size is going to be that of 8, uh, 8K here, and it's going to be on 192, 168, 171, 71. Uh, dot 131, and it is the uh, shared docs directory. All right. So it is the shared doc docs directory on that machine, and I'm going to save this, and I'm going to do a service. AutoFS, restart. It's going to stop the auto mount and restart it, okay, which, it uh, which, is, which it just did. And I'm going to do service, AutoFS, status. There it is. It tells me that it's running. And then I'm going to go to the miscellaneous directory. And that's really all there's to it. I've got my mount, and I'm also able to use my mount. So auto mount allows me to mount remote systems and remote file systems uh, without having to remember what they are. I can mount my CD, my floppy, my hard disk on a local or remote system, and I can simply reload and stop and restart the auto mounter service to get these things going. That's auto mounter.